Check it out, man. It's your boy Black and Mouth. You already know you heard me. And you right now watching your Herman Nola Zine TV. Booyah. When did you begin producing music? Man, I started producing music a long time ago, baby. In a lo in a land lost far way, way, way back in the Yes Lord. <laughs> I just playing, but look, uh, yeah, I started uh, producing music, man, uh, like, 98, yeah, now nah, like, 98, had a little in-house, little studio in my house, whatever, you heard me, yeah. What genres of music do you mostly produce for? Uh, genre mainly producing, uh, always mainly produce the bounce music, you know, that's where I come from, but uh, bounce all around to all type of different stuff. Name a few artists that you have produced for and who should we look forward to? Um, I produced for like uh, what Drake, uh, Young Jeezy, um, Yo Gotti, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, Juvenile, uh, Big Frida. Um, I got my own artists, you know. How did you come up with your name? Uh, matter of fact, one of my friends, man, came up with my name back in uh, in the ninth grade at uh, McDonald 28. And uh, it was crazy. We was ribbing, and he just, I must have was looking like a black and mild during the time. <laughs> you hear me? And I just, I just ran with the name after the girl started calling my name, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yes, Lord. You hear me? And growing up in New Orleans, how has that culture influenced you in your music? Oh man, uh, you know, I'm an older cat, man. So you know, what I'm saying, like, you know, like our our music in New Orleans, like, was everything. Like, that's all we knew back in the '90s. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know nothing about no not, nothing else or no other coasts or nothing. Like, our local music was it was major to us. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, that's what I grew up on. And what actually inspires you to make beats? Uh, music, love. Like, when I, I guess when I was a child, like, I couldn't really sleep. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if it was the project heaters or them, or them, them heaters and, and them, you know what I'm saying? And them shotgun houses or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or them shotguns that was, that was popping outside. I don't know what it was, but I couldn't sleep that much. And so I would sleep under my, my mama, under my grandmother, whoever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? They just always had music playing. They just went to sleep to the music. So the music just always just was playing at night. And I just was like, yeah, you heard me? Describe your creative process in the studio. Um, it's, it's, it's showtime for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm performing, like I'm on the stage. So I just, you know, I just take it there. You know, just do me. What's your favorite part about this line of work and your least favorite and why? Uh, first, I, I got the love for it, but I love making the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm blessed to be one of the producers who always seen money. I seen something from it. You know what I'm saying? Not just money, but even just, you know, the music always took me places. And, you know what I'm saying? And made it, made it, made it comfortable for me to do the things I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's around, you know. You have any least favorites on, on it? I have any who? Least favorite. Like, what's your least favorite of this line of work? Oh, uh, the time, man. It, it take, you know, you got, you got to make sacrifices. That's the only thing about it or whatever, you know. But other than that, it's, it's good to me. Now, with having musical genius records, what artists are on the roster and what should we be currently looking forward to? Oh man, Musical Genius records on the rise, man, you know what I'm saying? I always had it, had it, you know what I'm saying? It, it was get money music. At one time I got it tatted on me. I've been had this I've been had this since like 05 or whatever, but I I try I kept the logo and I just you know, I just took took it and just turned it to musical geniuses or whatever, like in, in maybe 2010, 2011. And uh you know I have like Dino, I have uh Lady Dahlia. Uh, Fresh and Reckless finds it. Five or four Detroit. Uh, I have a few artists in, in different places in different states or whatever. So you know, we rolling. I was looking on your social media and you were sharing that the bounce music is a sacred craft to New Orleans. Share how that is and your impact on its culture. 
Yeah, well, you know, I, what, I, what I mean by, you know, the bounce music is secret is it's just like, you know, don't get me wrong, as a, as a producer, you know what I'm saying, from anywhere, just being a, a good producer, you can duplicate or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta just have that feeling and that ear, but to have that, that New Orleans real bounce sound, like, you gotta really be from here, like, you gotta know where it came from. Like I said, man, I used to be asleep in 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 middle of the night, woke up and just hearing that that bounce music just rolling, like you know what I'm saying? PNC, DJ Jimmy Tucker, um, Jubilee, all you know, Take Four, all that, all that era, Big Boy era, even the beginning of Cash Money, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's it's, it's just a whole lot, you know what I'm saying, that you just gotta know about as far as when it comes down to this bounce music, you know? How do you feel about New Orleans artists? in their bounce music are they getting their breakthroughs or what should happen to make it pop even more so the thing with, with what i feel about that is you know what i'm saying you know it's it's been a long time coming you know what i'm saying and, and to keep it real you know what i'm saying like it's the lack of knowledge that we have down here as far as you know what i'm saying trying to get out there into that industry so you know what i'm saying me doing i'm doing my little part or whatever grabbing you know, these bounce artists, and, and you know, I was younger artists or whatever, and trying to make something happen as far as, you know, trying to transition it to another level on it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But the lack of knowledge is, is what's really been holding us back a long time, you know what I'm saying? Even for the pioneers, you know, so that's just, that's one thing that I learned about, about, you know what I'm saying? Making it to a whole another level. But, uh, yeah, uh, we, we getting there, it's, it's getting there, you know what I'm saying? You know. We getting the New Orleans coming back. It ain't even just the bounce, like you know what I'm saying. It's it's just the whole culture, like you know what I'm saying. Cause we got, I feel like our city got like you know the hottest, the hottest rappers. You know what I'm saying. I feel like we got the best talent, bro. Like we hungry down here. You know what I'm saying. Like everybody coming with it. You know. And how was it making beats for Drake? How was that creative process? Oh man, that was special. You know what I'm saying? It definitely the the genre. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, going back into the bounce, that's me. Like you know what I'm saying? So it was easy. It was it was a piece of cake for me. You know what I'm saying? It was it was not. It was cool, but I appreciate it though. What was the difference in making in my feelings and nice for what? And what was Drake's reaction? The difference was is at one time I had feel what we been all in my ear. You heard me. Fucking with me, you hear me? All that, you know what I'm saying? Yes, love, <laughs> my little dog. But, uh, nah, uh, I did uh, Nice For What in LA and uh, I did My Feelings in Canada. So, you know, two different vibes or whatever, you know. With working with No Limit, what have you learned and took along with you along the way? Uh, me watching Master P, bruh, is like, taught me how to deal with, 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 with other musicians, like deal with these artists and, and, and other producers, like as far as on the business side, you know what I'm saying, and just see that, just how you deal with people, period, like I was paying attention, so I was learning a lot over there at No Limit as far as on the business side and, and, and just, you know, just how to just deal with people, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, that, and that's, that's important or whatever, you know what I'm saying, like you either a person will like you or either they not. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to know how to just, you know, get past certain things and just keep the business going. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what's your experience working with the female artists today? Um, females, man, you know, right now is is uh, females, they, they got it. They got the juice right now. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I respect it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's... it's it's, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's needed, like, you know what I'm saying? Because women got something to say to or whatever. They go through shit just like niggas do. So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's all love, it's all good. I'm definitely feeling the song with Dino and Suki. How did that come about, you producing for these ladies and making this collaboration? So, yeah, so um, I, I linked up with uh, Suki out there in Atlanta, whatever. Uh, we, we got a few songs together and, uh, I work with her and, and her other producer, Y.O. or whatever, and um, you know, we built a relationship, we cool, and uh, you know, Dino, my artist band in the wall or whatever, so I just decided to just go down and just put them two together, you know what I'm saying, and yes, Lord, make something happen. 
I was also excited for the Vicky Lo and the Megan Thee Stallion for the Queen and Slim video, Ride or Die. Share with me about that and what do you expect moving forward working with female artists? Oh yeah, that that uh the Megan Thee Stallion record and Vicky Lo crazy. That's a crazy, crazy record or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That was uh, an idea put put together by uh, one of the directors or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, it was it was another piece of cake or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, when it comes down to that bounce music, you know this this what we do. Like you know what I'm saying? So you know I don't I don't produce so many bounce records. It's a shame I done did over like 80 bounce albums. You know what I'm saying? So. Tell me how do you feel about your local DJs and the radio stations? Do you feel like they can do a better job breaking the artist music in the city? Once again, you know, I, I feel like it's just a lack of knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really blame your career on other people, first of all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't go like that. And then it's different from how it was back in the days now, you know what I'm saying? They got so many platforms. For you to blow up on it's either you like nobody don't want to see you laid back like right now it's a visual thing everybody need looking at their phones more than they do anything in the world you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying you got to give people something to see you know what i'm saying q93 is not a then they don't it's not a video please like you know what i'm saying it's not q93 videos you know what i'm saying so you know that's 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 the radio that's one that's one thing even though if the radio do still touch more people you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they, they can only do so much or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it just start with the artist first. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you just got to just be that be that type of person with that energy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And just people, gonna gotta, they going to feel you. If they feel you, they going to feel you. Now, if you weren't making music and producing beats, what would you think you'd be doing right now? I'd probably be the biggest drug dealer kingpin in the South End. I swear to God, I cannot pick. That's a, that's a, what? What you just asked? I can't believe you just asked me that. No, Jesus. I ain't, I really ain't never had no job, so I don't know. I, I don't, that's scary to think about that. Now, do you feel like the artists in New Orleans should do a better chance of supporting each other? Um, I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, man, people is people, man. We all from the ghetto. We from the hood, man. We know how it go down. Like, you know, certain people don't fool certain people. And that's just how it's going to be always. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for the ones that could, I'm going to say the ones that could support, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's cool or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But ain't nothing ever, you know, everything's still the same. When Juvenile Pop, you had to make noise supporting them. When P Pop, you had to call your supporting them. You didn't stop them. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, you don't need everybody to support you, you know what I'm saying? As long as your people support you, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? What advice do you give to the inspiring bounce artists and just artists at this moment in order to strive to more greatness? Man, just try to gain knowledge, man. Just think bigger than, just think bigger than New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Like, your music being played on Pandora and iTunes, which, which touches everywhere like you know what i'm saying so when you gotta think big you gotta want to reach those places as well even with your visuals you know what i'm saying so just think big and just and, and stop pointing at people and all that like somebody stopping you from blowing like it's, it's you you know what i'm saying you gotta put that work in yourself from sacrifice just like you were saying just having the knowledge and the research and just information you feel like all this are more lean to their talent than handling the business side of the music industry? Well, you know, it, the thing is, you just gotta just know what you need. You gotta know, you gotta know the tools you need. Like, you can't be an artist and be the manager. You can't be the artist and be the lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you, it, it take a team for everything. You know what I'm saying? No matter who you are. So, I advise every artist out there, get you a manager. Start off with a manager, then go from that to a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you find somebody that's that, that if they just starting, you know what I'm saying, that's what they want to do, you know what I'm saying, so they can get the knowledge of being better uh, at that, that's what they do, you know what I'm saying, you know, and, and things going to feel better, it's going to ride. Are there any artists right now from the city or even mainstream that you look forward to working with? Everybody, me, 
Yeah, you know I mean? as long as they come right with it, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm I'm black and mild to the to the to the meat show, you hear me? Straight up time. You know what I'm saying? I show love to my city, always did, you know what I'm saying? It's like I walk around right now with my head high, no problems, you know what I'm saying? I show love 24 7. You feel me? So, yeah, everybody, I wanna work with everybody. Let's get it popping. Going into 2020, what's next for you? 2020. Trying to buy me a spaceship, love. I'm trying to do something crazy. You understand what I'm saying? I want a suburban that's that been flying with me and my people. You understand? Yeah. yeah. And do you have any upcoming projects we should look forward to in 2020? Definitely. You know, I keep working. You know what I'm saying? I come up with ideas as I go, so I can't even tell you the name of them right now. But just okay. know they coming. You heard me? Yes, Lord. Well, we definitely got to keep tapped in with what you got going on. So let us know where we can find you at on all social media platforms and all um, Black and Mild. B-L-E-Q-N-M-I-L-D. Everything. Black and Mild. Just love. Musical geniuses. You already know. Get at us.